Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine and doing well. Today in this video we are going to learn how one can design the rear suspension geometry of a four wheeler vehicle. We are using SolidWorks software for sketching the geometry. Please watch the video till the end. I hope you all will like it. Now let's jump into the video and open a new sketch. First we are making the rear suspension box. I am continuing the sketching on a previously made sketch which I have shown in my last video of front suspension geometry designing. One can watch that video by clicking the i button here or from the link given in the description below. This section is not so much important to us as it includes only basic sketching and dimensioning. So we will just fast forward our video. However, if one needs to note the dimension I have used, they can pause the video and have a look and note the dimension for their own reference. The dimensions can vary as per one's designing and constraints one might have. Now close this sketch. Make sure to name it and open an another new sketch. The main section of our video starts from here. So we will now create our rear suspension joint. In this rear suspension, we are making a HM type rear suspension along with one control link. This is our spindle of 100 mm length. Here we are sketching the layout of knuckle or let's say applied, which is going to have two lower mounts for the lower HM and one upper mount for the control link. The circle represents the CV joint for our reference. Now sketch a triangle which will represent the body of our knuckle. Make sure to define the sketch and dimension it properly. Now close the sketch and name it as rear knuckle. Make sure to save your sketch time to time in order to prevent the loss of work if the software gets crashed ever. Now open a new sketch. In this sketch, we will make a simple edge arm and its mount. The HM looks like this. This is an image I downloaded from the Google. First, we create the horizontal reference lines on the lower chassis member which will represent the mounting of HM. We already have our mounting on the knuckle side ready. Make sure that they should be significantly away from chassis to avoid any possible interference of HM and chassis. Now just join the points to form lines which will make our HM. These lines represent the member shock absorber. One should not keep it too close to the knuckle as it may hinder with the CV joint or draft or with the drive shaft. Now dimension the sketch and close it and name the sketch as HM.
open a new sketch and make a control link and its mount. The reference line represents the mounting and the hard line represents the control link. Dimension the reference line as 35mm and make it collinear with the control link line. This is because the orientation of control link should be in line with the control link mounting. Otherwise, the mounting can break or deform under the action of forces while cornering of the vehicle. Exit the sketch and name it as control link. Now open a new sketch and we will sketch for shock absorber and its mounting location on the chassis and H arm. We are not considering the presence of tri shaft here as we don't have its location defined but we can just sketch from the midpoint of this link. So create three lines which are collinear to each other. The two small reference lines represents the shock absorber mounting and the one longer line represents the shock absorber body length. Generally, shock absorber has center to center length of 450 mm or around 18 inches. As you can have a look. So I am giving the same dimension here as well. Note that these three lines must be collinear, should look vertical from the side view of the vehicle. It is generally recommended. But with the help of proper FE analysis and suspension analysis, one can keep it inclined as well. Now exit the sketch and name it as shock absorber. So our rear suspension geometry is now completed. We will now club all the drawn sketches into one single folder and name it as rear suspension. And now we will just repeat the same steps for the right hand side uh, of our vehicle as well. So here watch and enjoy the time lapse. So now our right hand side sketch is also completed. Name the sketch and enable the front suspension to view both geometries together.
It's great to see that our both front and rear suspension geometry are ready and one can easily create their own own design of suspension geometry by following these steps and using references from the dimensional values as well. However, I have not shown how to optimize and evaluate certain parameters like roll center, pitch center, motion ratio, instantaneous center, etc. For that I will be making more videos very soon. If you found the video informative, please like it and share with your friends as well. Let me know of any queries or doubts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.